While you may look at UT's tower every day, it's not every day you think about what lies inside. Up the elevator, beyond the 27th floor, is UT's Guild of Carolinors. Carolyn's a series of tuned bows. I think you gotta have like more than 26 to be officially considered a Carolyn. You play the bows with batons and pedals. Each baton or pedal connects to a string that rings the bell. If you have experience with the piano, um, then you basically already know how to read the music for the carillon. It's written in like the same way that piano music is written, and the notes are kind of laid out in the same way. It feels more like playing like the marimba or like a keyboard percussion instrument. Consisting of five members, the guild originates with Tom Anderson, who manned the tower as a student and later as a UT alum from 1967 to 2013 then passing away in 2016. He would play like on special occasions, like I know April Fools, he would play Christmas music and then like the funeral march on the first day of finals. Sometimes I try to do stuff like that if I'm free. I think it's like kind of carry on his like legacy. It's pretty much up to us to make sure that this tradition stays alive. The group performs chosen pieces at least once a week. Otherwise, a computer automatically chimes in every 15 minutes from eight in the morning until nine o'clock at night. So we kind of just play what like, whatever people like, want to play, whatever people learn, they can just play up there. I personally enjoy playing songs that people recognize, usually from video games, or maybe just like pop songs or classic rock. I play a lot of like classical music, indie rock songs that I like, and like video game soundtracks too. If you hear Beatles, that's probably me playing it. Um, I have a book of piano arrangements for the Beatles, and it's easy to play that on the carillon. I've played the Halo theme a couple of times, and that theme song is like really iconic, so I was like, it'd be cool to play that on the bells. Brandon like, recorded a video, and he posted it, and someone was like, I'm going to send this to my friend who's on the dev team, and I was like, wow, <laughs> they saw me. <laughs> I like performing for people, but I don't like performing in front of the people, so I think being up there at the top of the tower and being able to play music for people and they can't see me is kind of like, takes the stress away out for me. It's also fun to be in the tower, it feels like you're in a wizard tower, no one sees you, but you still can, they can all hear you. Whenever people find out that I'm one of the people that plays in the carillon, they always ask me, how do you do that? Like, how are you allowed to do that? And like, I honestly ask myself the same thing. Like, this is kind of like an amazing tower that we have at the university.